Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we'll understand about the fluent weight in Selenium Python. So we have understood about the weights, different types of weight, and we have understood about the implicit weight, explicit weight, and now the fluent weight. So what is the difference between explicit weight and fluent weight? We'll understand that and how you can implement fluent weight. Okay, so here in the previous tutorial, we have understood about the explicit weight and we have used the expected condition along with the weight web driver weight uh, to check for a particular condition for the web element right now with the explicit weight when we created an object of the web driver weight class we have specified driver argument and the time or the amount of time to wait or the timeout right so this is the timeout 10 seconds or whatever time you want to specify here okay now in the fluent weight basically what you need to do is if you pass few more arguments right so this is the explicit weight that we have been using now if you just hover over this particular web driver weight in the code itself you will see that you can specify the pole frequency right and then ignored exception so there are two more arguments as well that you can specify so when you do not specify the pole frequency and the ignored exceptions that is what the explicit weight definition is so if you're coming from java in java there is a clear difference between explicit and fluent weight and similar is the concept here in python so if you do not want to specify the pole frequency or the amount of time by which or after which the script is going to check for the presence of that particular web element then you specify this pole frequency so say for example i want to i do not want to check the presence of the web element every default pole frequency so by default there is a pole frequency that is already there but if i want to specify that do not check for the presence of the web element until two seconds have passed right so you can specify the pole frequency and then the other argument is ignored exceptions okay so say for example what i'll do is let me comment this line out okay and see how you can implement the explicit weight okay so let me remove everything as of now and run this code so this time because there is no weight so date selection will fail and let's see what exception we are so it's on the date selection now and it looks like it has failed and yes so you can see that element click intercepted exception is there all right now with the explicit weight we haven't specified any of the ignored exception so when it it comes to fluent weight if you go to this documentation here and this is the official selenium documentation so you will see the fluent weight so in the fluent weight what you do is you along with the driver you have the time the timeout and then you specify pole frequency how frequently you want your script to check for the presence of the web element or the expected condition that you want to specify and then which exceptions you want to ignore okay so now if i want to implement the fluent weight in this particular script i just have to add when i'm creating an object of this web driver weight class then i just have to add the pole frequency argument and specify the frequency pole frequency there which is you know integers this is the seconds number of seconds that you want to specify and then the exceptions that you want to ignore okay in the square brackets so here we saw that this element click intercepted exception came here so what i'll do here is i'll simply say pole frequency i want to specify as two seconds and then comma separated ignored exceptions i'll specify that ignore this particular element click exception all right and it will keep ignoring this particular exception until the timeout right so if you just hover over this you just need to import this exception right and this will be imported this is the only thing that is required to implement the fluent weight and rest everything remains exactly same so expected condition and everything will remain exactly same okay so that's the only difference between the explicit weight and fluent weight so when you are creating an object of this web driver weight class if you pass the ignored exceptions that you want to the exceptions that you want to ignore and the timeout frequency then that becomes your fluent weight and rest everything because we have been using the rest all of the things so let me uncomment these lines now okay so now it should work as is okay and comment 
this line out. So this this is exactly similar to the explicit weight that we have learned apart from the two extra arguments that we are passing. So we're not polling or we are not checking for the presence of the web element before two seconds and then we are ignoring the exception that we want to ignore and you can see that it is it has worked exactly the same way as the explicit weight. All right, and it is on the search page. So this is what you need to do for the fluent weight. Okay, you can specify the poll frequency and the exceptions that you want to ignore for that particular weight duration or the timeout duration. Okay, so this is comma separator. So exceptions, if there are multiple exceptions that you want to ignore, you can specify that as well. Okay, so here as you see, element not visible exception, comma separated element not selectable exception. So you can specify that. Okay. So here if you read fluent weight instance defines the maximum amount of time to wait for a condition as well as the frequency with which to check for the condition. So it is very similar to the explicit weight but explicit weight by default uses a default frequency. In the fluent weight you specify the frequency yourself. So here like one seconds or you can specify three seconds or five seconds. So say for example there is a web element which takes quite a while to load and you do not want to bombard checking it again and again you know that it appears only after 10 seconds so you can put a frequency of three seconds or for four seconds something like that right so that's where fluent weight will be helpful so that's all about fluent weight in selenium webdriver with python i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching